Good morning. I'm Howard Lux. This is your Orthopedic Minute. We haven't actually covered a topic particular to orthopedic surgery yet. So today we're going to talk about the rotator cuff. That's right, cuff, C-U-F-F. -F. A lot of people say cup. That's not entirely accurate. We call it a cuff because there are four muscles that sort of come together as they approach the outside of your shoulder and become one. And that cuff then inserts or attaches to the top of your shoulder bone so it completely encapsulates the shoulder in muscle and tendon. Uh, collectively, all, all four muscles are known as the rotator cuff muscles, but yet they are four individuals. Now, they can be injured in many different ways. Usually, it's just a lifelong uh, list of activities as opposed to one traumatic event. Most rotator cuff issues are simply related to the fact that our tissues wear out. We age, things change. It's natural. Sometimes you fall from a height or fall down or get into a car accident, and the tissue can rip or tear acutely. But the majority of injuries are based on your genetics and just based on your activities. And the majority of symptoms, even if you have a small tear, are simply going to get better with rest, ice, activity modification, and occasionally a course of physical therapy. No rush to get MRIs unless there's significant weakness and issues. Talk to your orthopedic surgeon. Take it slow, and good luck. Bye.